Hi everybody, Melissa here with Melissa's Manny's. This is going to be, I guess, officially my first um, consistent YouTube upload. That's the plan at least. So let's hope that I can keep with this when my school year starts and everything else. But I'm excited to do this nail art today. Um, I did something similar last year for Pride. I don't know if any of you have been following me on my Facebook page. You may have seen it. I did kind of an alcohol ink rainbow uh, marble. I'm going to kind of do a play on that this year, but I'm going to do the marble on all of my nails. We're going to go um, across with red, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, blue, purple. Kind of in this style. This was just kind of my rough uh, attempt. I'm going to keep the marble at the tip. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but well, I'll do it with you and we'll find out. So what I'm going to do is um, I've already started. I've already done all my dip. I did one layer of fizzy lifting drink and then two dips of clear on top. Filed them out, buffed them smooth, and left them there. So that's where we are. So I'm going to start by writing the, um, or putting the alcohol ink on my nail. I just got these off Amazon. I just got new ones in because I wanted to make sure I had all the colors I needed and I didn't have them in my other set. So they work well. Any kind of alcohol ink will work well for this. And then you'll also need to have some, um, rubbing alcohol of some kind. Okay. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put some red on this side. Orange. And then orange. Yellow, gosh, that's bright. Yellow. Green. I'm not making it perfect because it doesn't really matter. The alcohol ink is going to disperse this, kind of give it a different look anyway. I need more green here. Green here. This is the blue one. Blue. Now darker colors, I tend to try and put a little bit less than I would of the lighter ones because they will stick around longer and kind of take over if you're not careful. And the purple. All right, so let's see what this makes. What I'm gonna do is I just have a little paintbrush and I have some alcohol already set up right here. And I'm just gonna start playing around. I actually want more red, I think I need more red. You want to test your markers ahead of time. Stuff like the red, often these alcohol ink markers, it'll say red on it, but it'll come out really, really magenta on the nail and not red red. So I ended up having to find this one called Old Red. So the rest were kind of magenta. So we're going to get a little bit of alcohol on the brush and just kind of dab it here and there. Drops. Get that to start blending up in the middle a little and blending down. So we're kind of creating a semi ombre effect onto the nail. And then I'm gonna leave it because I'm that's just I'm I'm just kind of like setting it up for the actual marbling. You want to let, every time you put alcohol down on the nail, you want to let the alcohol dry before you go in with more. 
So we're just going to go on to the next nails and start doing the same thing. Kind of blend them together a little in the middle. And blur out the bottom edges. Okay, and you can see it's starting to get a little bit of a marbled effect. You can see it better in the darker colors than in the lighter ones, but... Okay, so now it's kind of blended in, blended together a little. I'm just going to drop... Alcohol, alcohol in different places, kind of spread the ink apart. Use my brush, I'm going to bring them just a little down in parts. Okay, going to let that dry. some color down see that well enough. I do plan to get a better phone stand. I got one, but it uh, didn't really do what I wanted it to, so I need to find another one that doesn't jiggle or let me run into it. Okay, I'm kind of liking that so far. So I'm wanting to work these enough so that the colors kind of blend in the middle, but not so much that they mix. You don't want them to mix into each other and then you can no longer tell that there's a rainbow fade going along the nail. I actually think that um, I don't want to overwork this and I kind of like where it is. Um, when you go back from the darker colors to the lighter colors, I'm just kind of wiping the brush off on my hand um, to make sure there's no ink left over in the brush that will get onto the lighter colors and contaminate them. One more color on this one. I'm gonna 
always go and add more in and just keep playing with it until you're happy with the look. But if you overblend, there's really no coming back from that. So when it comes to the alcohol part, be as careful as you can to just kind of maintain the colors that you want to keep. Okay. And I think I'm going to maybe a little more orange on here. And then we're going to top it and pray that this color, that the marble maintains its look after I top it. I don't want to have to do gel. Um, I don't particularly enjoy doing gel tops just because they like to peel off. So I'm just going to do a layer of dip base over. I'm going to test it on the thumb first, but I got to wait for it to dry. Try. I'm using double dipped liquids for this set today, which I love. If you haven't tried them, oh well, no, a lot of people haven't tried them yet because they're just now going out. But okay, so I'm gonna do. Looks like it is not making it run, so that's good. Should be able to do this for all of them. Make that sparkle pop out. Oh, cutting a little bit of ink. Just going to kind of float it gently. To try and avoid that. That one's better. Floating is what I like to do with the foils or anything else that tends to bleed or run. I'm just going to put a dollop on the nail and use the brush to gently pull the liquid over the nail instead of harshly brushing the brush against the nail. Okay, I'm going to give those just a second to dry, and then I will do the activator and top coat. Okay, go ahead and activate these. You can hear my daughter in the background, she's a little bit wild. So because I did that layer base on here to protect the design, I can now activate directly onto the design and I don't have to worry about needing to do a gel top coat. Some nail art you can do this with, some you can't. You just get familiar with. There's something cool about this. It's because it has a honey. That's what's cool. Okay, I'm going to put these building books we can... Make something else. Okay, let's give that a few seconds and do a top coat. I'm not very careful with the double dip no. top coat. The top dip will just spin it back. Because I want to take good care. She recommends two minutes between activator and top coat. I don't have the patience for that, and I know that. Her liquids are pretty forgiving. See how that's about how long I waited, and I don't have any brush hardening.
and the top coat is dry. And we're all done. Here's the finished product. I'll be taking some photos and I'll post them in my Facebook page as well. Thank you for joining me for this. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you know what to do.